I told you a few weeks ago that Andrew Yang is running for mayor of New York. Now, I've got issues with Andrew Yang, and I've mentioned them. But here's how he's doing. Right now, in the first poll, um, he is leading 28%. The next person behind him, um, Adams, uh, Scott Adams, I think it is, he is at 17. He's not even close to him. He's 11 points down. The next guy, the pro Wall Street, Citibank guy, Obama-backed, Obama people-backed, Clinton-backed guy, uh, he's doing terribly at 13%. There's a lot of people in the race, but there's a couple reasons why Andrew Yang is ahead. Now, first off, it's name recognition. Andrew Yang has an 80% name recognition. So 80% of New Yorkers know who Andrew Yang is. Now, he was a presidential candidate. He was on the debate stage. He had a feud with MSNBC. He, you know, so it, it definitely, um, you know, he, he's, he's got that, right? Um, another, so the other guys that are recognized are 66. Uh, the other guy, Adams, is at 66. And I don't remember who the other guy is. Don't really care. He's at 63%. So... Yes, um, these New York politics geeks, politicos, as Crystal Ball called them, yes, they are known, but apparently uh, Andrew Yang is known very, very well, and it helps to be a guy who ran on the, pre- on a, on a, on the presidential level, and especially in the primaries. So, one thing, another thing that, that he's doing well is the way he's doing his campaign. Here's the first thing that I will mention. I didn't like his UBI at first, but I like it now. But he did write that controversial op-ed, ridiculous op-ed, talking about, um, oh, the BDS movement is anti-Semitic. No, it's not. (laughs) It's not anti-Semitic at all. Um, And I will go over what the BDS movement is. I realize I have to to do that. Um, So... um, the um, so the way he's doing it is, if you hear that, it's my belly. He's censoring his campaign on um, UBI, but also anti-poverty. Um, you know, on restaurants. You know, things that matter to people. And what are the top two issues in New York right now? Thirty percent of viewers want want uh, uh, voters want the vaccine rollout to go well and stop the spread of COVID nineteen, and 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 they also want uh, jobs and the economy to get better. Now the economy kind of fell, so did crime at sixteen percent, a sixteen percent. So again, the fact that he's centering his campaign on restaurants, you know, getting them to be better fixing them, helping them to get back up. And he's on social media and he's always posting. This could be like the first outsider social media guru kind of thing. Mogul, not mogul, but just guy to be in. And right now, I must explain to you also, I have to, uh, New York has ranked choice voting. And basically what happens in ranked choice voting is you can have two people of the same party run against each other, kind of like California. And essentially what happens what happens is uh, the person who doesn't receive the majority of votes or who receives the least amount of votes has to drop out and then his or her votes, their votes are redistributed to the other candidates. Now, here's the thing. Andrew Yang has not hit 50%. So they're going to have to give, if this is the primary, um, they're going to have to, and, and especially the general election, they're going to have to give him certain amounts of votes because that's how ranked choice voting works to get him over 50%. He's not over 50. So, I mean, look, I've got my issues with Andrew Yang. I just mentioned the BDS movement op-ed he did criticizing it, which is stupid and terrible. Kind of a prick move. But, hey, especially with the people in New York who are for the pretty much popular uh Anti, you know, the BDS movement. Um, so, how well is he going to do, especially with ranked choice voting? I don't know. I mean, New York City is a wild card. And you hear people talking. But New York City is a wild card, and you never know what's going to happen. But I just thought I would update you on the mayoral uh, race in New York. Really big updates coming up here. And 
I it's gonna get more controversial. It's gonna get hotter. The primaries in June. You know, you've only got a few months, so who knows what's gonna happen? Um, but I'm definitely excited to see it all come about and see what happens. 